Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're looking at our top three trad climbing quick draws. This is not a sponsored video. We've used our own experience, feedback from you guys and shop sales to come up with our top three list. So what is a trad climbing quick draw? What is trad climbing? Well, trad is when you ascend a wall, climb it, we're using natural protection. So only nuts, cams, slings, instead of clipping onto bolts. And this changes the equipment that you bring up onto a route like that. Because when you're on sighting, you don't know which gear is gonna fit in which cracks, you have to take quite a lot of it with you. Therefore, you want a trad climbing quick draw to be pretty lightweight, so, so you can carry more of them. Low profile, so they'll sit nicely on your harness. And although they need to take multiple falls, they don't need to be quite as beefy as a sport climbing specific quick draw, which might be left in the wall for long periods of time and will take multiple falls. Trad climbing is quite complicated and it can be hard to learn. We've got dedicated videos on Climbing Daily and Epic TV, so just type that into YouTube and I've put a couple of suggestions down below as well. It's harder than just clipping bolts, so make sure you know what you're doing before getting out there on the real rock. So that's the theory, let's look at our top three and we're starting with the DMM Chimera. The Chimera Quick Draw uses DMM's flagship carabiner, the Chimera, which is low profile and streamlined. We sell these quick draws in three different lengths on the Epic TV shop 12 centimeters weighing 69 grams, 18 centimeters weighing 71 grams, and 25 centimeters weighing 75 grams. The major axis strength is 23 kilonewtons and it has a gate opening of 21 millimeters. Both the carabiners have a key lock nose to prevent rope snags. The quick draws have an 11 cm Dynatec Dyneema sling. The DMM factory is located in North Wales, a place that's absolutely bonkers for trad climbing. So DMM know what they're doing and they've created something pretty wonderful in this quick draw. It's lovely to hold and feel in the hand. Big extended section here uh, on the carabiner that you clip into the gear uh, so it can move around a little bit and not walk the gear out. This is the 18 centimeter sling version, right in the middle of the range, you get smaller and bigger. And I like that because you can pick and choose different carabiners. Sometimes you want one or two really long ones to prevent rope drag through a roof or a zigzaggy section. Sometimes you need them short. So you can pick up a few of each size to bulk up your trad rack. Now our next carabiner takes a slightly different approach to this principle. This is the Edelred Mission. On the Epic TV shop, you can buy the Mission in two very different types of quick draw. There's a 14 centimeter set weighing in at 67 grams and an extendable 60 centimeter sling version weighing 80 grams. A solid gate on both the carabiners eliminate gate flutter. The 14 centimeter version has a 22 millimeter polymede sling, while the 60 extendable has an eight millimeter Dyneema sling. The gate has an opening of 22 millimeters and a major access strength of 20 kilonewtons. So I've got the extendable version of the mission here in front of me, and it's pretty easy to extend. You just increase the length of it and suddenly you've got a very long quick draw. And that is very useful on certain types of climbing, especially alpine climbing. And because the mission is the heaviest carabiner in this test, you get a little bit more for that weight. The carabiners themselves are a bit chunkier, they'll be more durable and easier to use with gloves on, which is why I think the mission needs to be on your alpine climbing trad rack, as well as your climbing outside on real rock trad rack. Having some extenders in your collection is so helpful. And I do recommend the mission if you're looking to pick some up. Okay, last model we're gonna be looking at is from Petzl and it's the Ange. The Petzl Ange can be set up with different carabiners and sling lengths on the Epic TV shop. You'll notice some options on the carabiners, either S or L. S is their super lightweight version at 28 grams, while the L is a bit bigger and weighs 34 grams. 
you can mix and match these. For example, putting a larger carabiner on the rope end for easier clipping. The S has a major access strength of 20 kilonewtons and a gate opening of 23 millimeters, while the L has a major axis strength of 22 kilonewtons and a gate opening of 26 millimeters. Inside the carabiner is Petzl's H-shaped cross section, which makes them lightweight but strong. The outside of the carabiner is a monofill key lock technology that keeps the nose nice and clean. Weight depends on the setup you use, but there are two sizes of dog bone, 10 centimeters and a 17 centimeter version. The dog bones have an ergonomic shape, which makes them easy to grab. I like how you can mix and match and choose different options on the Epic TV shop, having that orange S or L carabiner and the different lengths of sling. We only got the shorter ones here and only the S carabiners on these models, but I've mixed and matched them with colors a little bit so you can see how it would look if you had an L and an S put on there. What's really good about that mix and match system is that if you're a climber with a couple of holes in your trad rack, you can use that system to fill it. So if you want a bigger carabiner to use with gloves, you could do that, or a longer one to extend stuff, you can do that as well, all within that orange framework. Which one would I go for? It depends on the type of climbing, really. I, I need an extendable quick draw, so the mission obviously draws my attention, and that 60 centimeter sling is really useful, and gives you options. The uh, Chimera, this will be my everyday trad climbing quick draw. I really like it. It feels lovely in the hand and it's nice and light. Whereas the Petzl, well, you can mix and match that and that's gonna to appeal to a lot of people and that different sling lengths as well means you can pick the perfect setup for your rack. Now with trad climbing, it's a bit more complicated than your sport climb. You need to learn more things, have more gear, and it's worth knowing those techniques before you go and put yourself somewhere dangerous. So there's lots of information available on Epic TV and Climbing Daily, and I've linked a couple of videos down below so you can learn some things. Also linked down below are the products themselves on the Epic TV shop, so you can buy them or find some more information. And do let us know in the comments which is your favorite, which one would you buy, or do you have them, like them, and use them? Okay, that's it for this week. I will return on The Gear Show very soon.